Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Grand Colombia and in this episode we are attacking Teleco, one of the last French holdings uh, on the American continent and then we'll be, be, we will be moving on towards the Savoyard uh, territory which France has so cowardly given them. But first we must destroy Alexandre Beauvais and his force of ragtag colonial troops uh, mercenaries and, ra and, uh, and Native American irregulars. So let us attack the city. It will be their doom. Um, we'll have to check out whose allies uh, may come in to fight with Savoy. But we've got some good allies ourselves, so I think it's going to be worthwhile capturing that territory and maintaining our territorial integrity before Savoy has a chance to build up a colonial force to defend it. Alright. Alright. Guns up on the high ground. Found the bejesus out of them. Howitzers do the same with round shots. Form the line. Grenadiers on the right. Oh, I missed a howitzer unit. Colonial lights clustered together. Dragoons and tribal auxiliary on the left. Tribal auxiliary fire it will off. General, watch the battle from the guns. Interesting. They are electing to. I oh, know they are going to push forward. I was going to say, I thought they were going to hold off. I would like them to come towards me because we've got this these terrain features start to uh, and especially this outcrop here breaks up the battlefield so if we let them advance they will be forced to or they will be forced to uh, navigate this feature They'll be forced to navigate this feature uh, instead of me. We've got plenty of artillery, so let's just do some damage from range. Maybe even provoke them to attack. We might actually push up to secure the road. That may lure, lure them into charging. Uh, you can fire will on. You may blast this colonial like cav. We may or may not hear it, depending on what the sound decides to do. Yeah, we will not hear it. But that's seven cavalrymen knocked down. Oh, there goes the remainder. One cavalryman left. Tell the tale. Yeah, there we go. So sometimes it's interesting. We've got the sound mods on as part of Darth mod, so even though we're now getting vanilla musket sounds when we should be getting Darth mod sounds, but for whatever reason, rain really screws up with my audio. I have no idea why. Focus the fifth light horse. You should spread out a little bit. Yeah, that's pushed them to, to attack. They're now running towards us. Like lambs to their slaughter. Wow. You may as well get my, my foot artillery to focus on the light cav. Okay, Dragoons. Go get that general. This light cav, go for the artillery. Start to wrap around the flank. I mean, you smash the 4th Regiment of Foot. Where are their native troops? They're here somewhere. Start to give some independent artillery targets. They are 
here somewhere. We may well be back here protecting the general. Right now, our artillery shots are hammering home. I mean, I mean yeah, we're just going to pitch up the cavalry. Okay, there's one unit. Okay, there they are. That's why. The general's not out here on his own. You men can push towards the native Bowman Auxiliary and have a go at them instead. Okay, infantry units begin advancing. Which I might take four. Begin advancing against the native infantry block. Redirect our artillery fire. Let's pull these and try and these auxiliary out. So you've gone for the native auxiliary, but watch out for that cluster. Okay, let's hit both these infantry units. Try and make them shatter. Yeah, storm up. Turn your line all the way at the back out of artillery range. Just want you to shatter the infantry, not necessarily to kill them, them kill them themselves. I'm gonna bump into the native auxiliary. Okay, I think our plans are a bit keen. To be a bit more conservative. the warriors coming in. Get the cavalry to fall back. Get the howitzers to start blinking. Okay, it looks like they want to surrender the left flank. Push the cavalry up here. Okay, shattered, broken. I want to do this carefully. Okay, let's get you out of here as well. Make sure sucking up a whole lot of troops. Human push up. The irregulars come out of the light cow. Their sabers are drawn, ready to attack us back. Slow down to make sure we get the volley off. And then charge. Tomahawks raised. Send another unit in to attack the bowmen. Infantry mercenaries are on the run. I keep bombarding them with all of our artillery. They can't decide where it is they want to attack. We swing around and go after the general. Excellent. Push my infantry around over the hill rapidly. charge them. Okay, we have to commit some. We're not going to keep fighting. We're, we're not going to keep being able to set up our battle lines. Look at me, general. Oh, it looks like they're all, except for this native bow unit. 
which they will be soon because they've got this clone of Dragoon unit coming in to charge them and lots of cavalry coming in to mow down those bowmen but these will be our these will be our citizens soon enough so let us not be too cruel you men charge the mercenaries artillery cease fire Send in the 13th Regiment to help on the ground. Might not need it. No, the Tribal Auxiliary managed to rout them themselves. Ah, native warrior units come back of its own accord. All cavalry. Smash into the Warrior Auxiliary unit. Our infantry may take some damage from the cavalry charges. Okay, hold off. Wheel off. There we go. Grenadiers sorted them out. Looks like that is all of them. Nice. Good victory. So we've taken that territory. Now we will push on and evict the Subway Yard. So you men... Replenish, go on, declare war. So we're going to want to call in our allies. But Austria's at war with Prussia, so Prussia should join us. We've lost trade with Austria. Everything's gone to plan. Just demand the surrender of the territory. Nice. So let's get you repaired. Get rid of this, actually. Get rid of the church school. Yes, get rid of it, because we've got 100% Catholicism. Do some upgrades. Cotton and tobacco. Cotton's worth more and we produce less wealth in cotton anyway. Uh, build a mine. You men push up through Chikasa. Get basic roads built. Not going to do too much building around here because uh, we've still got French troops to deal with. Lots of recruitment is ongoing around the patch. Baton Rouge. Get a craft workshop. I mean, we need to send someone over to Santa Fe. Actually, that might be you. I mean, ideally, I want Mex to Mexico to take it. I'd be fine with them to take it. But if they don't, then I don't want France generating armies to send at us. So we've got cash, lots of stuff is ongoing. You're recruiting. We're still recruiting native auxiliary in Albany. So let's start building a slab-sided killer fleet. At some point you're going to have to be dealt with Britain. Oh great, they dried up. Oh yeah, down here, Martinique. Destroy the military governor's encampment. Probably going to auto these guys. Yeah, they've already been beaten in the previous action. So Martin is secured. We're probably going to want to fortify it and garrison it. Same as we're going to do with Trinidad. So at Caracas. Start recruiting infantry for garrison duty. So we're about to get longitude watch. Kumana is on with rights of man. I mean, they'll work their way along the text. A day in is on with socket bayonet. They can take some time. They've got some upgrades to do and soon we'll be able to get modern university. You're positioning against the Iroquois, which will be our next target after we've cleared out uh, Cane Tuck territory of French troops. Quebec wants an alliance. No, because you're going to be our next target. I do not want to give you technology. We want to push up and secure Canada. I mean, Austria is getting squeezed between Prussia and the Ottomans. We do want to build up our trade fleets, but we want to build up. We need to build up our navy first and foremost. Uh, build up our navy. We can defend our trade posts, and we can attack. We can attack enemy trade posts or trade nodes. Overseas. Lots of movement on the continent, but thankfully we haven't got to worry about all that. I 
think once we've secured the Americas, we're going to move on to somewhere in Europe. Probably Spain. We're going to re re reinvade Spain and become the true Spanish masters of the world. Rid the world of Spanish corruption. And then where we go on beyond that, who knows? The main thing is securing our territory in America first. Lots of uh, French are raiding Prussian ter raiding territories in France. Stop Prussia from getting any benefit from it. Okay, yeah, you're on the move. Tukabachi. Build this. You can build a governor's mansion. So can you leave? No, you cannot. Um, hmm. Might want to build a coaching inn just to make that happen a bit sooner. In which case, you may end up clearing out the territory. And then once Chikasa's settled down, we'll send this army east. Uh, west, sorry. But while we've got plenty of money, let's build the magistrate in Martinique and build settlement fortifications. Upgrade Barbados. Okay, clearances. We can't upgrade anymore. Theatre in Hartford. I can just go straight for a pleasure garden. And Paramaribo has been built. Not gonna fortify Paramaribo yet. I'm gonna go build some militia to help fortify, building up our trade fleet here. Su Majestad. I actually knew we were going towards this guy. Although that's a lot of... You actually might be better to garrison Chikasa. Let's go to Union of Curiosier. You head over to Chikasa. You can get ready to garrison and then allow the more interesting army to head west. Teleco, build a governor's residence. No infrastructure upgrades are completed as yet. Send some native warrior auxiliary out for some of these other units, other other armies, because we'll soon run out of. We'll not be able to recruit them. Well, one our la next turn that'll be the last we can recruit them. So once we build the governor's residence, we'll lose the ability to recruit them. So we may as well max them out now. Right, so you're ready to attack the Erica Confederacy. Protector of Portugal and Huron, perfect. Allies, Britain, not so perfect. Well, let's maybe... buff up our naval strength a little bit more. Because Britain can land a lot of troops in a lot of places. I mean, we'll be at war with Britain anyway once we take... Madrid, they'll go after us from Gibraltar. Or we might just take Lisbon first to secure a foothold on the continent. Well, actually, we'll be at war with Portugal anyway. There will be a war with Portugal anyway. Uh, so it makes sense to, to go after Lisbon, knock out Portugal. It's one fewer uh, faction to go through the intern phase. And then we can drive inland with a secure base, uh, a de well defended secure base that can generate lots of troops. Hmm, Savoy going after Britain, maybe? Russia's going to Russia. They are at war with the Ottomans, so that could produce some interesting results. They've lost C Crimea. Or it's gone, Crimea's gone independent. It looks like it's gone independent anyway. Yeah, they raided the mines. Just 
pop out for now. Just chew them up. We can deal with one turn of unhappiness. But yeah, lots of mopping up is just going to be auto resolves. Sycamore, build a craft workshop. I mean, you're pretty happy. Okay, let's not build anything over there yet. Up Louisiana, generate more wealth. We have cobbled roads, replaced with metal roads. I mean, that's a lot of. a lot of uh, economy buildings popping right there. Average yield cotton plantation, but more is better. Good, and then Chikasa can upgrade to cobbled roads. Okay, yeah, you can take the garrison duty. I mean, you'll do it. This the army will do it now, just to knock it down for a turn. But then this army will follow it up. Yeah, you're building your army. I mean, you'll probably want a unit of heavy cavalry, or are you getting? It's heavy cavalry going south to here. Let's get the unit of Curacier. Okay, there we go. That's the last native auxiliary units. You're going to hold outside Philadelphia till we know what we're going to do with you. Privateer, go over to the trade fleet. Then let's take. No puedo hacer eso. Ordena, Come on, let's take a batch of troops sí, to Trinidad. Todo listo. En Zarpemos, a la espera de órdenes. Let's take a batch of troops. To Martinique. I mean, this is definitely not the most efficient way to do it. Because the territories end up producing less, not enough money to cover the garrison. So it's not really worthwhile doing it. Um, but it feels more thematic. Okay, let's... you go to here. You build your guard ship. You may actually hold in the event that we do... We do end up fighting Britain because of uh, the Iroquois. That's a good decision, I think. Okay, 1200... Aren't able to really boost our regular, our big navy, really. Uh, don't build a galleon. Build a fourth. Build a fourth and a sixth, because you're my lower tier fleet. This is sort of my middle tier fleet, and then you're going to be my high tier fleet. One more turn till rights of man. Trade route raided, that's. Yeah, that'll happen. Okay, they still want an alliance, which they're not going to get, but it's commendable of them to attempt it. It is the Crimean Carne that owns it. They're going to cause problems for Russia. Which is good for me. Austria can't really make up its mind what it wants to do. They can't really go after. They can't really go after us because they've got no. Well, they've got a, a lot of problems on the home front. They're at war with Prussia, and if they get enter, they get they end up fighting Russia or the Ottomans. They're really screwed. Okay, 
Don't worry, Prussia. Your time will come. Your time will come. You will see. Ooh, what happened there? I think Austria just took Dresden by the looks of it. Uh oh, Austria might be winning. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fun. That is fun. Still nothing to worry about yet for us. We just need more ships. Potentially more trade if we can get it, because our income, I mean, 30 grand a turn is pretty good, but it's not enough. Portugal, actually, no, they didn't enter the, oh no, that'll be with the Iroquois. Uh, Russia, let's trade. Six grand? Yeah, why not? I don't normally like paying for trade, but in the longer term, it's probably going to pay off. Yeah, there we go, we're going to earn it back in one turn. Send our agent over to Santa Fe. And Siri again. Capering Loon. Intellectual Advance. Rights of Man. So you've gone to National Debt, which is fine. Wealth of Nations is going to be expensive. Because it. Oh no, it's the free trade, I guess. That get, yeah, free trade that gets Global Trading Company. That is expensive. Okay, commercial port in the Carolinas. Right now, the Americas is a... It's a wealthy region, but it's just not as wealthy as some other parts of the world. Okay, you're done. Okay... Weaver's Cottage and then build up the coaching in just a second guys, I need to quickly hop off for a second. And I'm back, sorry I started moving the mouse before realising I hadn't actually started recording. Uh, right, so... Senor. Senor. You're going to go to Cherokee Hoy Territory. You are going to lose a very experienced unit of infantry. So Vamos. we can pick up a... We can pick up that melee unit. Actually, you're ready to you're ready to, ready to uh, to conduct garrison duties off the bat. Interesting army head west. You got plenty of time to replenish. Okay, so we've got cotton plantation, tobacco plantation, cotton five one seven five, tobacco five nine six two. It's not a perfect method, and there's going to be a lot of better ways to do it, for sure. But that's how I like doing it. <laughs> I like doing it by wealth. I'm more interested in having a a, uh, a varied trade network rather than a specialised trade network, because the trade prices do fluctuate, and it feels like if you specialise in any one commodity and the price crashes, your economy crashes. So we're a bit more resilient. Uh, Alain de Lavoisier. Sorry, Alain. You're going, sonny boy. The last French army in the centre. Then this army will then push north and be ready to attack the Huron. To attack the Huron. We'll attack the Iroquois, which will bring us into war with the Huron. Then we'll push on and take Quebec. Then we reach the point where we may end up invading or declaring war on Great Britain because they're the ones that own some Canadian territories and territories in the Bahamas. So, would artillery be positioned up on the high ground, overlooking the battlefield? I'm going to leave these two units, these three units back, because they're just kind of not super useful. At that strength, same with you. All of our reasonable strength units can advance. How it's just hook shots from range. Horse artillery, we'll see how the battle develops. We are going to need to forward quite aggressively Infantry. 
interesting. You guys may end up being the, the saviors. I'll bring my general up. We, we, they are worth. It is worthwhile risking them. These little units can still form square, but that's a large number of dragoons. Can you form square on the flank? Then my artillery keep engaging as normal. Cavalry wide. Howitzers lob shots at their regular infantry positions. Okay, you know what? You guys aren't actually entirely useless. Forward. Our infantry is beginning to engage. Let's get our wood artillery focusing on the right flank because that's where serious contingent of their forces is. Push a dragoon unit past the flank. Start to threaten their general. Push some infantry in the trees. Start to get some flanking shots off. There goes the enemy cavalry. Okay, this infantry should have knocked a few more off their horses. There we go, they are shattered. Perfect. Okay, you guys can actually be committed. When your lights come up, go after these skirmishers. Horse artillery can scamper up on top of this hill. Pushing forward, it looks like they want to charge us. Come on, 20th measurement, reload. Your lives may depend on it. Here goes the charge. Oh, these men are going to make ready. <laughs> Poor devils. Oh, there we go, they've broken. After that, Coeur de Bois unit. The enemy are breaking. Push forward, take the ground. Yeah, they are starting to recover, but the main thing is we just don't want them. We don't want them coming back to where they were. Horse artillery may as well just start popping off shots from back there. Foot artillery focus on the actually all my artillery focus on the 58. They're the only two men charge the 11th. Push these men past the combat. We've killed their general. I uh, didn't mean to pick up you. Okay, start going after the 25th at max range. Okay, reorganize the line. Some of the gunners want to get back into the fight. No, they just, they've just broken. The staff are fighting without their general, which is commendable, but foolish. Okay, just storm forward. They may break from artillery alone, while our frontiersmen will 100% see them off. Let's roll some volleys from the 14th Regiment. They're not useless. 25th are holding on while they can. Don't let them form up. Charge! Actually, you guys can... You guys have the stamina to pursue some of the enemy. Oh god, some of our front artillery fire disagrees. 
although it's probably not going to matter a huge amount. These, oh, this Hessian line is going down. That's a proper melee fight. They're just com their formation's completely broken up. It's man against man. They are getting kills, but not enough. We are number them more, than, like three to one, roughly. them dealt with. Form up casually. I mean, the general staff fought for a while but it did not help them. There we go. We will end up autoing the last action. Because we've fought this army a few times now. There we go. Come on, Mr. Hernandez. Let's get you up to here. Why are you not? That's my territory. Oh, that belongs to Quebec. Interesting. Well, then you go up to here, then. Mr. Serrano. You go up here as well. We'll move on the Iroquois, here on Rupert's Factory are Rebels, which are great. You know, Northwest Factory, Northwest Territories need to be taken, as does Aqueduct and Plaisance. Yep, war with Britain is inevitable. So, Ciro, Mr. Moreno, Comandante Moreno. Two horse artillery units, not so sure about that. Get a turn's worth of infantry. You are going to here. Everyone's on the move. Williamsburg is slowly being converted, but the preacher hates Americans, so he is not very good. Okay, a middle fleet, you can upgrade, or you can get another fourth rate. you're safe and you're safe actually we may be better off using that money to fund some howitzer batteries for the defense of some of our territories hmm, why don't Crimea Carnate's going if only they were bringing troops that would be fun if they were invading somewhere else but then again, they've got Russia on their doorstep, and Russia's probably very angry at not having Crimea, as they, as they were, notoriously, um, during our lifetimes. France wants peace. No. No peace. At some point, Mexico will need to be destroyed, but for now, we're considering them true Latin American uh, peoples. They are one of us. They are kindred spirits. Until they attack us, then they are then they are devils who need to be destroyed. <laughs> as is often the way. I think some boys heading our way to try and cause some trouble. Oh no, they're just raiding. That's fine. Gotta watch out, Sweden. Russians coming to get you. 35,000. Dry dock in San Juan. Save it for a steam dry dock. We've got a college. Upgrade to a classical university. Upgrade Maracibo to a coaching inn. Top tier cotton warehouse and tobacco warehouse, which is great. There you go, Albany. Is growing. Good, 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 good. Okay, now we can be a bit more 
free with some of our upgrades. Let's check roads. Yeah, you're, you're going to take a while to get there, but get there you shall. We do have one of our agents on his way first. Zero units recruited, apparently, even though that is not true. Let's move to artillery pieces. Who makes the most money? Martinique. Martinique makes the most money, so Martinique gets the how it says. Well, Martini gets the most howitzers. Oh, not all of them. I mean, Caracas needs to be perpetually defended as well, because Caracas is our linchpin territory. I mean, this isn't the most efficient way to move them around. You should move them into ports, but we're not really time pressured. Do something like that. 15,000 to spend. So at Yorktown, let's get two more first rates. And you can pick up those heavy cavalrymen on the way. You're almost in position. Looking sneaky beaky. Okay, got a good amount of infantry. Got some melee infantry, got some regulars. One light dragoon. Let's get a colonial dragoon and a cuirassier unit. Okay, I really don't know. I don't want two horse artillery units in one army. Because I want two 12 pounders and then one howitzer. And then you'll be done good and at Boston you can hold off for now I mean we're limited at what we can upgrade because our research is not ideal we are getting there I mean I suppose New Haven you don't really need to go for as much naval stuff for now as, as you do artillery stuff or do we just set you loose on the economic side I think we do the economy underpins all. Uh, we'll be able to. We actually, actually might not. I thought we might be able to finish these political te technologies before Medellin gets upgraded to a modern university. But we shall see. I think that's okay. Five thousand. Is there any anywhere we can make this go to work? Well, I suppose we could. Look at okay, spices are by far and away the most valuable commodity. So let's see if we can clear somewhere out in the East Indies. Keep building reinforcements to be shipped out, but let's see if we can get some get a toehold on the spice trade. Yeah, Britain's got some troops here, all right. They've really wanted an alliance. I suppose they do really like us, but it will only cause their doom. Yeah, Cayenne is growing as well. It's a military governor's barracks. We probably want to fortify our territory there. Just to make sure they don't get any ideas. Cologne has fallen. To the Austrians, it looks like. Looks like the Austria has done a bit of a uh, thunder run into, into Prussian territory. And caused some problems. They've taken Dresden and they've taken Cologne. Although one of their armies is being beaten back. I wonder if that was the Dresden garrison. I 
The army of Naples is strong. Navy of Naples is strong, rather. I wonder where they're going. Yes, I've always got some good navies and they're out roving the seas, so we are going to want a lot more navies than I've currently got. I think we can spend a few turns just building ships. Well, not just building ships, but... Ooh, a new town. A new town in Panama. There you go. Have a craft workshop. Because you're pretty happy. Okay, this might suck up a bunch of money. Four grand a pop on these industrial buildings. Although I do very much prioritise economic spending above all, because it means you're probably going to get a little bit more money next turn than you had this turn. <laughs> In theory. Okay, everything's okay. Mr. Serrano, replenish. You men go here. Not that I'm expecting trouble, but these guys, they're going to break through. Oh no, they can't break through here because that's... I mean, this tra this route never normally works. We may end up having to go for Quebec first, in which case then you need to get to Fort Nashwack. You're nearly ready. Might be another army to plug, in, to plug the gaps here for any crossings over the Niagara... Niagara River? I mean, yeah, here on... I mean, they can cross here, but they normally... I don't know, these crossings can be a bit screwed up. So I never normally really go th go for them. Okay, you're going for two. Okay, now let's start to go for two second rates. This fleet go for two third rates. Sí, majestad. ¿Alguna orden? Okay, let's create another 4 3 navy. I mean, I'll take a 5th rate as well. Okay, get the howitzers in. Let's take some infantry over to South America. Come on, dang know it. Okay, if I move you out. You work out the best route is to do that. You're not fortified, but they're building native troops here, so just be ready. They have a spice shield and a gold mine, which I do want. Right, but I think the time has come to declare on the Iroquois Confederacy and let's see if the British join them. Call my allies in. Britain abandoned the Iroquois and joined us. That's good. That is that is good news. Because we aren't really in a position to contest all of these territories at the same time. So let's move on the enemy. First of all, we are going to siege them for a bit. Just to make them... Uh, do we siege them or do we just go for them? I think we might just go for them. Let's just go for them. Mostly just native garrison, native bowmen anyway. We just take the territory and then strip it of all of its native trappings and replace them with good European ones. Good European ones and upgrade them. Well, I mean, upgrade them in future turns. But it will be another territory that will become part of the European community. Well, colo European colonial community. 
Can get the guns firing. Right off the bat. Need to be a little bit cagey. Because the native troops can always cause problems. Let's create a native right wing. Split the cavalry. Oh, the native native units always they always do that. I mean, suppose it's because it's not because they're hidden. Or maybe it is. Let's not go crazy with our pushing forward. Let our artillery do some work. Get my foot artillery to bombard the armed um, tribesmen. To be honest, we don't really need to worry about our about their their cavalry. The chief's bodyguard tries not to deploy until as late as possible. We may actually run into position. I'm going to run just in case they elected to run towards us and charge. They do still have lots and lots of hidden units so we need to be wary of that I say wary let's secure the road at speed Make sure we are just smashing their melee line. And they will be incredibly upset once we get into position. Get them, fellas! We're from the high ground. which is lovely. So another unit's advanced in range, so what we're going to do is just going to, we're going to do the same thing again. They're probably moving hidden units into position as well. Here they came. Now here they come. Back you go, you devils. Forty-seven. Also fire at this garrison unit. Push them all back. Where are your ranged units, fella? There's a garrisonated bow unit coming in. There's a garrison unit, com garrison bow unit coming in. Put artillery bombard the chief's bodyguard. They've just lost about 50 odd guys in a, in a few seconds. No, they don't like that. Some armed tribesmen are returning to the action. Let them, let them march back into the killing field. Our Americans on the flank are going to show them what's what. Oh, God. 
playing as the Native Americans against, like, not even late game armies, just armies that have, what have I ranked? They just know how to drill. Like, watch these guys. Let's just push forward a little bit. And we're already upset. There's so much death. I wonder where the warriors are. Let's have a look. I wonder where the native... And then garrison, where the native bow units are. So let's send our dragoons forward. They're probably now around here, but I'm going to send my dragoons forward just to see if we can... We're just going to go try kill the general. Don't mind us. Bing putt. Well, there's a cluster of them anyway. Okay, let's put my musketry and my native bowmen up front. Okay, do you know there? Yeah, I, I thought so. You've been spotted, chief. Send my native units into this little block. General charge in the back of that Native American warrior unit. Wavering. Broken. Shatter them, please. Actually, make sure my other Kidragoon unit runs away. Shattered. Okay, native bow auxiliary, get into the garrison bowmen. Get this cavalry out of the way. Come on, General, as soon as the first cavalryman touches them, yeah, I thought so, they break. Shattered. Well, they're going after my cavalry, so let's run my cavalry behind my infantry. Charge the 47th Regiment in with their bayonets and their precision drilling. Wavering. I mean, they've barely lost anyone and they're already wavering. My general passed the action to go after that unit. Actually, that unit shattered, so it doesn't really matter about them. If you guys could go here, that would be super. And that'll do. Push my general and other units through the enemy settlement. I mean, the artillery and musket fire is just doing a damn fine job. Do 
Let's maybe not make my general push up too far on their own. Okay, once I get my Dragoons involved, these guys are 100% done. Get everyone up here rapidly. Your cavalry smash. Get on both these units, fire at will. The bowmen appear not to want to shoot. smash that native bow unit because they're also trying to get the hell out of dodge. These poor souls, they don't have much of a hope because they're going to get fired upon from multiple directions. Good artillery, bombard these poor souls. General has fallen. The human go after the chief's bodyguard just to tag them. We lost four men in my in that in that fight, and one of them is the general. Okay, just get in there with the bayonet. Show them what it means. You're just putting volleys into these men. <laughs> Broken. Come on, I should put you guys over here because you appear to be winning. See, now we run away, their cavalry is like, oh, we want to be, we want to fight. Yeah, that makes sense, but damn it, it's annoying. And this is why it's crucial to make sure that you shatter native units, otherwise they do just keep on coming back. And you swamp them with native American with, well, not Native American mercenaries, but American mercenaries. There you go. Hatchets out. Or Tom Hawks out. One or the other. But yeah, it just goes to show, Native American bow units, they can... They go, they go down swinging when you charge into them. That's why firepower is so great. There we go. A bit more blood left than we would have liked on our end, but victory nonetheless. Excellent. Yeah, we lost our general. So let's. I wonder if we can create. Let's promote one from our. Oh, I don't have the money. Replenish the army. Destroy this. Destroy the meeting hall. Two meeting halls. You were a research powerhouse. For a time. The new men yeah, get up to the... Order. New men. We all going to stay here and be ready to push on to full... Fort Salt St. Marie. You're one more turnout from being fully recruited, fully 
fully equipped. Could probably do... I suppose we'll build one of these into a um, church school to build another priest to help Catholicize uh, North America because we've still got a lot of Protestant territories and it's going to take a while to convert Williamsburg. One piece of gold left. Um, let's hit N10. They want Michigan Territory? Nope. There's no technology you can offer me to want to give up those territories. War were declared. Let's see who you join, Prussia. They refused to join my side, but they didn't join Quebec's side. That made things easier. Although it looks like Spain's going to come after us. Let's spend some money recruiting another army. Actually, no, we've got one in the Caribbean. We can respond to wherever the Spanish decide to land. We just need to make sure that we... Can't move. We just need to make sure that we do have that assured access to get our troops over there, which I think we do. Prussia didn't want to get embroiled in a war. No France, no peace. If I can, I'd like to sail an army into Corsica and capture it. Just to knock out the French completely. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Although the British do control the strait in its entirety, I think I would probably just get sunk en route. Naples and Sicily are flitting around. Still no upgraded roads. I suppose that could be a strategic decision to inhibit enemy movement at the front. Finland is Russian. There must be a lot of Swedish troops doing lots of raiding because Finland is on fire. Radio. Tra Alliance broken between Grand Colombia and Prussia. A new nation arises. Saxony has rebelled against the Austrians. And Cologne has been recaptured. Coaching in in New Granada. Okay, let's get our building done. Minus six. It's going down fast though. Fleet arrives. Is there anywhere? Empty? There is! Send word back to the Americas. You know what? Bring the sick through. Okay, let's recruit a buccaneer unit. Put you into here to make sure they don't have any easy raiding options. The Spanish, because they are going to be out there somewhere. Okay, let's take three, three units of militia. I mean, militia aren't ideal, but they're, they're not bad in the defence. Get them to Paramaribo. Because they're the most... That's currently the most isolated outpost. I suppose I would like it to be fortified as well. 14,000. So now you... 
Good fellows. Replenish. Recruit a general. You men try get within range to help. You get ready for the counter strike. You men cross over into Montre into Quebec territory and push up the front. I think we we do just need more armies. Something like that, and then recruit some mercenaries from Boston. Rebuild the magistrate. We should be okay. I suppose in theory we can bring our infantry a little bit. Well, we could bring it a little. Some of these units can actually go a bit further. They're definitely going to be within range to help out. So if you do, if if you fight well, any of these armies, we're going to be in good. We're going to be in good shape. But hopefully, we can defeat them, push them back across. You can head north to cover this river entrance. Although we could send our fleet into battle, destroy this sixth rate Orion. Sail around the fleet here in Fort Nashwack. Destroy it. Raid it. And then sit here. So cover that northern route. We want to keep this route open as a viable route of retreat before we block it off. So we've lost trade with Quebec. Well, they're on strike, but they are now no longer on strike. Good, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.